say what's up YouTube cinema kid right here with another origami video and this is my part two or I guess rectangle paper edition of the moving flexagon now let's get into it so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get have a rectangle piece of just standard printer paper um, as long as it's like this, it'll work. So, first what you're going to want to do is make a crease in the middle and fold this side to right here. Now you're going to want to fold this top part to the center and do the same on this one, like so. It's probably not always going to be perfect, um, but it should be good. So what you're going to want to do now is turn it over and um, make a crease that goes from this tip right here to this one, or I guess like this, and you fold until you can see the paper right here. make this a really good crease. Unfold. Turn over. And reverse that crease. Now, if it is needed, you can pause this video at any time. It's alright. So if you need to, just do that. Okay. And here comes a tricky part. Of course the whole thing is kind of tricky. This part's just tricky. So you have your thing, and now we're going to make a tear, like how we did in the last origami project. Starting from this right here. Boom, something as tiny as that will work. Then, just keep going. Now with printer paper, tearing this will not be easy, or I guess it won't be as easy as it will be doing as it will be with origami paper. Um, so if you have origami paper, uh, I would recommend this maybe, or I would recommend doing that. Um, yeah, as you can see like right here kind of, you know like, not try to rip on the line. But we've also got it. Okay, I've got it right. I've got it to the middle right here. Turn it over. And get it right here, just so, just in case. Now, 
it in any way goes wrong, and you can just do it like that. So as you can see, it's got like a few um, bad spots, um, but it should mostly be okay. Now, I actually haven't tried this with rectangle paper before, um, but since it's bigger than using origami paper, I assume it should be a little easier. Alright, so now we have our 1 by 2 ratio piece of paper. I'm going to zoom it in just a bit. Okay. Now you're going to make it fold from the top to the bottom. Now I'm sorry this paper is the same color as my table, um, but it should be mostly alright. Okay. Now we are going to want to fold both edges into the center. Now, like we did in the square paper edition, or like we just did, I'm going to turn it over and fold both of these to the center. You actually kind of have like guidelines for the folds with this little crease right here. You know, right there. So you can just fold on that. Like so. Unfold and create a 2 by 8 grid. So you're going to fold this edge to that crease right there. And do the same over here. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit fast. Um, if I am, just make sure to pause the video if you need to. And then, finish it up. I'm going to fold both edges. To this final crease right here. I think you can probably hear my little brother Elliot yelling in the living room. He's loud. Very, very loud. So if you have a little brother like that, respect. 
well, a brother, a little sister. I'm an old, I'm the oldest sibling. So life's a little hard for me. All right, so now we have, now we've got like the, this perfect little grid of squares. What you're gonna do is what we did in, like in the last video, <laughs> create our diamond pattern with a one by two slope. So we're going to make a crease that goes from right here to the second one. So, second cube. Line that up to the center. And fold. Go down two squares to the middle. Make a little crease right there. And line it up to this edge. Also, I'm like right next to the laundry room, so if you hear, yeah, you can kind of hear it going off. <laughs> I love that thing. Okay, unfold, two blocks down. Unfold. Do it again. Well, actually, you can just flip it over and do what you just did. So the other day I just saw the movie Tenet. Have any of that have any of you guys seen that? That's probably gotta be like one of the craziest movies there are. Still hear Elliot and Ian fighting. <laughs> oh, what a crazy little kid. diamond pattern so if this is your first time making it congrats looks pretty cool and now we're going to make those folds that we made before in the diamond pattern folding both of these edges to the middle
And let me zoom it in real quick. You're gonna wanna see which one is bigger. This one is barely bigger. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it, open it up, open it up, get this thing ready, and just slap it in there. yourself this thing okay so you can see there's little um marks made here you're gonna put your finger you're gonna put it behind here in the center and push it out and make that fold Oh great, now my dad's singing. Now we're all in trouble. Okay. Yeah, so you've got that on the top and bottom. Do it over here. I've actually never done this with the rectangle paper. It's so much different than doing it with this origami paper. Oh, dang it. <laughs> you're going to want to get these creases really good because you're going to need them. All right, now for this part, which is probably the hardest. And then get your finger, put it in the center right here, or behind the center. Get your other fingers on the tip and push it in. without trying to crinkle your paper. And you're still going to want to keep these creases good. Just like that. And do it over here. Dang it! Work. 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 So hard. There we go. Like I said, you're still going to want to keep these creases right here um, pretty tight. And just finalize it over here. And that's pretty much it. Now you've got to start folding. You're going to want to start off slow. Because it's very hard. You're still going to want to keep these right here, like bent like that. There we go. Yeah, now it's getting a little easier to do. Once you've done it like three or five times, you can start speeding it up a little. Oh, dang. We've still, we've still got to try to keep it secure, though. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, then you can kind of just start speeding it up a little. And if this is your first time making it, good job. You've successfully made something hard. Okay. Sorry, I keep getting it out of camera. But sometimes it'll get a little tricky and you're gonna have to reverse it. Like that. Save. So I guess what you're gonna wanna do is just be really easy with it. Cause it's weird. And if you did successfully make this, then well done. Be sure to feed it three times a day so it, so it never gets hungry. You know, I can't even do it. It's so hard. If you can, then well, hashtag yay. But guys, that is the completed origami moving flexagon rectangle paper edition. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Goodbye.